Four nine. Now we got about four minutes to knock this one out. West Virginia. A lot of change. Eight and four last year, six and three in the conference, which is crazy. I I think in one of the previous things I said that they were a ten win team last year. They were not. They no. eight and four. Can, uh, does anything they do last year make matter today? No, not that any team, slightest. That team literally is so different. They've got uh, four offensive starters returning. They've got five defensive starters back. Number one nineteen in the country in experience returning. Number 10 in the conference. That is dead last. Dead last, yep. Head coach Neil Brown. The over-under here, by the way, is 5.5. The over is plus 135. The under is minus 155. So Vegas... It's that hook. Yeah, Vegas tends to side on the five wins five or wins under. Or under yep. um, Neil Brown, 35 and 16 at Troy. He walks into a roster that is in transition, and they have a brutal schedule for the foreseeable future. Their out-of-conference schedule is ludicrous. Quarterback Austin Kendall, um, look, they they got him from Oklahoma, and you would think that he is the guy, right? But Kendall did not really separate himself from uh, Miami transfer Jack Allison. It, they've got running backs and wide receivers stacked up, but offensive line has got some serious holes to fill. Defensive coordinator Vic Kenning, he runs a 4-2 look with hybrid players, but it is a roster built for a 3-3 stack. So... What do they end up running? Because they don't have the proper personnel to do what Kenning wants to do. Which, by the way, he brought Kenning with him from Troy. He did bring so, him with him from Troy. Um, former five-star Alabama linebacker Van Darius Cowan. Uh, he should be the most talented player on that defense. He should be able to step in and, and make a significant difference pretty quickly. So long as they know what they're going to run with, with what personnel. Right? Correct. So... The non-conference scheduling is going to be rough on this coaching staff. Uh, the conference schedule is pretty well split this year, but I don't like their chances of succeeding this season. Uh, they do have Austin Kendall for another year after this, I believe. Is yeah, right? they've got they've got two transfers that that should have two years of eligibility. So I I do like I like Neil Brown. I think that they get. NC State in the off season, like or not the in the uh, right. out of conference slate, yep. right? But other than that, I mean, I've got them winning at Kansas. I've got them beating Texas Tech. I got them losing to basically everybody else. Non conference, like I've got Missouri them four and, eight. and NC State is tough. I've got them four and eight. I've got them two and seven in the conference. <sighs> yeah. All right. I love Neil Brown. Yeah. Love, love, love Neil Brown. I got him five and seven. I'm one game better than you, and a lot of it is the same philosophy. I'm not a fan of bringing your defensive coordinator. I, what he did at Troy is just not what he's going to have to do in the Big 12. Yeah. And here's the problem. Both of those guys are defensive guys. Yeah. If, if the head coach was a defensive guru guy, which the Big 12 just doesn't do, and, and they brought their OC with them, I would, I would feel differently in the Big 12, you cannot bring somebody that is unproven against the best offenses in the country and play against these 10 teams. No, you're you're right. That that's just my fear and philosophy. No, so. I think I think you're right. All right, go over to winningcureseverything.com, go over to betnow.eu. We appreciate you checking out the show. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you share the show out, subscribe to the podcast, leave a nice review. We will see you guys next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.